Amish monsters, sci-fi, fantasy, even some poetry. We've got it all this month, including unfortunately a bit of a cold. Sorry about that. This is the Christian Fantasy and Science Fiction Bulletin for October 2019, bringing you the latest releases of sci-fi and fantasy created by Christians. I'm Adam David Collings. Kerry Neitz is releasing Amish Werewolves of Space, book three in his Peril in Plain Space series on the 31st of October. Some say death comes in threes. For the Amish community of Alabaster, it seems to. They've maintained an uneasy alliance with a vampire kinder, the altered humans that rescued them from the zombies seven years ago. But after several vicious attacks, nighttime slaughters that could only have been perpetrated by the kinder, the union of the two people is shattered. Meanwhile, a resurgent zombie horde and mysterious nightly howls signal doom, not only for the Amish, but for the entire galaxy. As more and more planets fall, the raven survivors hunt for a solution. Can they restore the peace, escape the horde, save the galaxy, or is it already too late? Father and son duo Alan and Aaron Rainey have released Hornet's Nest, book two in the Flight of the Angel series, which features a fighter squadron protecting a Christian colony on a hidden planet from Terminator-like robots designed to hunt them down. Captain Dex DeFelco has been missing for weeks. The Vore twins are incapacitated with a mysterious illness and rumours about a traitor in their midst threaten to tear down the squadron from within. Full of breathtaking action and pulse-pounding suspense, Hornet's Nest takes the world of Flight of the Angels in an exciting new directions, adding greater layers of emotional depth and some shocking twists. Verity A. Buchanan has released The Journey, book one in the Serestian series. Fred Thorne must shoulder the full care and protection of his sisters after a fire leaves them homeless and friendless. But the road is fraught with bandits, famine, and unknown dangers. The story follows three siblings through rejection, captivity, and the increasing spiral of guilt, as Fred fails time and again to protect his family from the dangers of a hostile world. Dangerous cities, breathtaking creatures, and incredible adventure awaits. And I have released Book 2 in my Jewel of the Star series. Season 1, Episode 2, A New Reality, continues the adventures of the passengers and crew of the cruise ship Jewel of the Stars as they flee through unexplored space from a hostile alien force that has occupied Earth. In this episode, looting causes Security Chief Jalen Banks to investigate the possibility of organised crime, while First Officer Mayor Rice leads an away mission to a mysterious Earth colony that shouldn't exist. There, she'll meet a strange alien who might be an ally, but can she trust him? Plenty of wonder, action and character drama await you. Raylene Burke has released Sword of Sota, book two in the Sacred Armor trilogy. Karina, Tristan, Rashka and Sam venture forth into the wilderness of Sota on the next leg of their quest to retrieve the armor of the Creator. With the ancient evil already affecting the kingdom, nothing in Sota is what it seems. From what skulks beneath the canopies of the woods, to what lies within the sleek white and gold of the capital, to the people Karina and Tristan have known since they were children. This series begins with the book Armour of Alethia. Nicole E. Tawney has released Under the Mountain. Princess Willow Andrick has lived a blessed life with a devoted father, a loving extended family and the kingdom to call home. But one night, creatures in service to the Dark Master invade the castle, attacking its residents and stealing Willow away. General Silas Price is haunted by a tragic past. To try to outrun his shame, he joins the elite. The kingdom's military order charged with protecting the crown as well as the word of the Almighty. But when a scouting mission on the mountain, the hiding place of the Dark Master, goes wrong, he is thrown into a cell and tortured for information. In the dungeons under the mountain, Willow and Silas find each other. But the two must learn to conquer their fears and trust each other in order to defeat the Dark Master take back the kingdom. Janine Ippolito has released A Storm Grows, a poetry anthology of those who have remained unspoken for too long, who have silenced their hearts and souls for better and for worse, and now want to break free and be heard without harming others. 
There is healing in the storm and growth in rain tears, and always, always a way forward, no matter what. In the next few weeks, I'll be participating in Extra Life, a charity event where people play games to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, providing life-saving treatments to kids whose families can't afford them. I'll be doing a special live show right here on this YouTube channel, playing some classic Sierra adventure games from my youth. I'd love for you to tune in and join the fun and make a contribution to help the kids. And don't forget, if you want to check out things from the wider world of Christian Geekery, check out the Christian Geek Radar from Christian Geek Central. And that's all we have for you this month. Keep reading, live long and prosper. And God bless. I'll be holding a special live show right here on this channel on Saturday the 9th of November where I'll play some classic computer games from my youth with a primary focus on Sierra Adventure games. Along the way, I'll share some memories I have of these classics of 20th century culture. The show will start at 8am Eastern Australian Time. That's 6pm Friday night the night before in American Eastern Time or 3pm Pacific Time. I'll be finishing around 3 p.m. Australian time. Thank you. 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 Thank you.